I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Ultimate Mama's Boy. This is a defense shooter type game on Newgrounds. It's pretty fun. There's some odd stuff about the game, though, that I'll cover. Your objective is to fight off wave of aliens, beasts, and ogres. Click on money. There's the first issue here. You don't actually click on the money. It just kind of comes to you. I'm not sure if that, if an older game, in an older version, you had to click on the money or something, but that should really be changed. Um, unless there's something I'm missing there's no clickable money that I ever saw. But yeah, you get money to buy better guns, or tougher in an odd context. If you get too scared, don't, please don't call your mama. But if you're an Ultimate Mama's Boy, shouldn't that be like your first response? I'm not sure why it's called Ultimate Mama's Boy, but... Oh yeah, this, this has to die. Please don't make random... Random voices are the worst, but, yeah, when you hover over this, it goes, meow, 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 meow. just please don't. How you play is you just use the mouse to aim and click to shoot. Um, the purchasing gear system is kind of awkward thanks to the mouse control. I'll show you why in a second. And you can also duck and stand up, which isn't relevant at the start of the game. Uh, I'm just going to continue for my previous game. The game gets kind of grindy, so it doesn't really... The progression, I don't really feel bad about breaking. Unfortunately, the... Um, I'm turning it down a bit. The music and the sound effects are kind of really, really overpowered by the shot, the gunshots. Um, if you're having, like... If it's a game where the gunshots are, like, freaking constant, it doesn't matter how loud the gun should be, you should really probably neuter the gun sounds a lot. Now, as you can see, I've already got some money from previous games. But, uh, for some reason, when you start a new game, it starts you off using the f beginning gun. I have a better gun already, called the Shredder. It does not automatically equip you with your best gun, which... I really don't honestly approve of at all. Also, by default, the... The enemy waves have absolutely no break time between them, they just immediately start. If you're trying to purchase stuff, that can be a real problem. Um, so what you need to do is pause the wave so you have time to expect, inspect all the stuff you can buy. This is sort of a problem because, you know, in order to pause, you have to go Oh god, I seem to have broken my back. Um, the, the game is really well drawn and animated. Um, the one weird thing is if you aim to the left, you break your spine which is unfortunate, but other than that, it's really well done. But I'm thinking the the logic here was you're almost never going to be aiming to the left. I only ever aim to the left when I'm trying to click on here. But uh, there's some problems with the clicky interface because it's a constant action game, and if I need to, if I'm shooting stuff and I need to go over here to pause it, you know, I'm wasting time. It's not a problem in the early waves, but it can be later on. Um, also, for some reason, you press spacebar to bring this down and bring that up. I would really prefer if, like, you there was just if spacebar just paused the game and this stuff was just all hidden, and it appears once you pause the game. So you know, just keep minimal distractions, and just let me pause the game at a whim, um, or maybe. Um, I guess maybe you don't want me to pause so I, um, so, you know, I could pause and then, you know, I could re-aim and, you know, try to use that to my advantage. What could happen is you could, what I think would be best is maybe an automatic pause at the end of each wave, or at least just a brief time where you can pause the game, because there's currently no break at all, so you just gotta quick hurry over to this button and hope the next wave hasn't actually started yet. If there was just like a few seconds, even would be enough to go ahead and hit that pause button. But it's also in an annoying corner. The interface elements are also spread out quite a bit. I... It makes sense to a degree in that it keeps your playing field here very nice and clean. Uh, makes sense for the weapons to be at the bottom like that. And it makes sense for the, the armor and the health. Oops. 
display to be in the top right. It's that's very well placed. My problem is with okay, let's pause. My problem is with the pause button and this stuff over here. I always seem to pause right before the end of a wave. The the problem is this stuff is sort of awkwardly placed. It if it was sort of pushed over into this corner here and just made it so it's very small and unobtrusive, that would be really nice. Because currently I might need to look over here and I always need to watch this because it's the main game area and I might need to look here and here. There's just too many places to look. It could be a bit simpler. And you'll make this little tiny pause button say right here or right here below the health and then just make this appear when I hit spacebar or maybe only appear when I'm paused or something. And this could be a bit smaller Really, this could be a smaller display and just put right under here. Just, you know, money, kills, score. Just have, instead of saying kills, just have the icon and the count. And it would be, you know, it could be the same size as, you know, these two rows here. Just compact the interface a bit. Oh, and speaking of pausing, the reason you actually do need to pause is so you can purchase stuff. Uh, which I forgot to do. But uh, the first couple waves, not a problem with the beginner gun. I'll just show you the beginner gun a bit more. The beginner gun's pretty weak, but it's not terrible. Oh, hmm. That's odd. Okay, so the enemies come in small waves, it seems like, and you can pause the small waves. Oh, wait. And so I bet... Okay, whoa. Uh -oh. Yeah, when the enemies get to you, they take a little, they take a moment to wind up, and then they blow up. But the weird thing about the wave system is that a small group of enemies is considered a wave for some reason, it seems, from how the pausing works. But the wave counter, like, when I click send next wave, generally my thought is that the wave counter on the top right is going to go up, but it doesn't. So there seems to be a thing, a group of enemies, and then there's a wave. And those are two distinct things that you're calling the same thing. If you get what I'm saying there. Also, a feature I haven't talked much about yet is there's this weapon temperature over here. You, when your gun overheats, you can't shoot. Fairly common to games like this. One odd thing is, when you completely overheat your gun, if you hold down the trigger... It just stays overheated and does not cool down, as you can see now. Um, in most games, it'll force you to have a brief cool-off time where you can't shoot. So, even if I continuously hold down the mouse button, it will cool off temporarily and then overheat again. Um, in this one, I have to intentionally unclick. This is a bit of a problem because... I can't hear the overheating thing because the gunshots are so loud and there's no way to change the volume of that. Honestly, I can barely hear anything in the entire game due to the gun noise. There's like a little bubbly noise when you're starting to overheat and that's all I can hear. And there's some metal music playing in the background that's fairly indistinct. I do really like the graphics in this game. There's just some inconsistencies. Um, the explosions are, you know, some pixelated. I think they're from some classic game. The death animation from some of the enemies is definitely from Doom. Let's get our better gun out here. And uh, let's just wait until we can buy, buy the Ego Crusher. One thing about... Okay, watch watch the little dynamite guy die. That's the uh, death animation from... Or the gibbing animation from some enemies from the original Doom. I think the explosions that happen may be from Doom. They don't look as familiar to me, though. Maybe they're from Doom 2. I barely played Doom 2. But those big explosions look slightly out of place with the... I really like how the enemy art is drawn, it just doesn't entirely mesh with the way the explosions look. Um, or the Doom Gib on animation, honestly. 
I do like the Doom reference there. It's... It just sort of doesn't quite mesh with the aesthetic. The background also is aesthetically a bit different than the way the character looks. I really love how the character, the player character looks. I guess he's Mama's boy. That's what I'll call him. And the way the normal enemies all look. The bombs look a bit simplistic. The floating bombs on a string. They look sort of like a bit lo lo lower fi than everything else. The money bags also look a bit odd, too. They just don't look quite as clean. And they're also missing the cartoony outline. So it just makes them look a bit different. So uh, the aesthetic could be cleaned up a bit more. Especially because I really do like how the most of the characters are drawn. Like Mom's boy over there. One problem I do have with the game is that you get money pretty slowly. And it doesn't ever seem to ramp up all that much in how fast you get money. You get money for killing things, so as the waves get harder, you get more money by killing more stuff. But after you get this Ego Crusher, that I'm going to get fairly shortly, um, money comes really slow. Oh, right, I need to pause. So the annoying thing is that changing weapons, there's no hotkey. Um, what would be really nice is that if the arrow key, or the number keys, would be used to switch weapons, they don't. So currently, you just gotta click down here. And if you do that while you're playing the main game, you're gonna get hurt. So what you can buy with money, which I haven't showed you yet, is, you know, weapons primarily. That's the important stuff. You can buy gear. Gear does not appear to do anything except look cool. Um, it's gonna move bandana. Uh, the bandana is my favorite one, actually, but it's free, so that's sort of odd. Um, there's this armor power meter here. I first thought that, you know, you wear a helmet and you'll get some armor power. The armor power doesn't seem to actually be in the game. If that was a removed feature, or if that's not doing anything, that should really be removed. Because I really don't get what's going on there. Also, we can duck. Um... You haven't seen that yet, because it doesn't come into place until Wave 5. But uh, there are some extra stuff, and there's some power-ups, but you can't buy them yet. I initially didn't realize, understand why I couldn't click on these, because I had enough money. But you see this Coming Soon logo, so these items aren't in the game yet. And I'm really not sure why the health packs aren't in the game. I mean, that's some very simple programming, so I'm not sure why those aren't in the game. And, uh... There's some airstrike bomb stuff that you can't use either. I was looking forward to using these and seeing what they all do, but I can't, unfortunately. So, really, just save your money for guns. It's the only thing to use money on. The only practical thing to use money on, really. Though the gear is pretty cheap, as you can see. The assault helmet's the only one that's fairly expensive. And as you progress in the game, it's not much money at all. I mean, I could buy all of them right now like it's nothing. It would just delay my next gun, which is the exact reason I'm not going to get it. And you know, typical game fashion, you get more more, uh, more tougher enemies as the game goes on and new enemy types. You know, might have expected that. The only enemy that's particularly different that you start to see later on are these little, I'm not sure what to call them, ogres, these green guys with the claws, because when they die, go on, die, they drop a bomb that hurts the other enemies. All of the other enemies are equipped with bombs, but none of them explode when they die, um, at least not in a way that hurts other enemies. Oops. And yeah, that the overheating is really frustrating, because uh, I expect it to just cool down on its own. I'm getting used to the fact that it doesn't. But yeah, I just generally I don't I'm not aware of overheating until it stops shooting, which is really annoying. Also, a way the game suggests to combat overshooting or overheating is to switch weapons. But here's the problem with that: switching weapons it puts me in real danger. Um, not on this level, but in harder levels, it does. 
I was talking finally by the Ego Crusher. I've never gotten past the Ego Crusher in terms of money. It really takes a while after this to get any more money. It also appears to shoot nuclear nerf balls, which... That's a pretty awesome idea for a gun, really. But yeah, I've never... The game gets a bit slow after this. It actually is literally slowing down, unfortunately. That seems to be... Seems to have been the Ego Crusher that started doing that. Oh, I died. <laughs> I like that when he dies, his eyes just look at you angrily and keep blinking. Once you reach level 5. Yeah, it gives you some tints. There aren't many hints, though. But yeah, it says switch weapons to avoid overheating. That would be a lot easier if I could just click to, uh, or I mean, you know, use the number keys to switch weapons. But I can't, unfortunately. Also, the way these look, it really seems like they should, like, bounce off at an angle when you shoot the ground. That would be sort of neat. Just a perk of the gun. Especially since its fire rate seems a little slower than the other stuff. Actually, maybe not. Maybe just because the projectiles look bigger. Or are bigger, they look slower. I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say in the game. It's a fun little time waster. Um, there's just some things in the interface that could really be tweaked a bit. And the gun noise could definitely be a lot quieter. And the way the money works just could progress a lot quicker. Um, it'd also be nice to start on... If you noticed, I hit continue and I start off at wave 1 again. You only conti continue only means you keep your money and your guns. It'd be sort of nice to be able to continue off from in the waves in the increments of five or something. Because, you know, I've never gotten very far in the game because of that. I don't I don't have a really great weapon and I'm I have a fairly short attention span, so it's part of why. But it'd be nice to continue from a reasonable point. So I could actually you know, get further in the game. But this has been Ultima's Mama, Ultimate Mama's Boy. I do recommend giving it a play. It's on Newgrounds, probably other stuff too. Yeah, we can't get the Z Elite. I've never actually seen that gun. The Shredder is an okay gun, so I just stick with it usually. Well, when I say usually, I've only played the game twice up to about this point. But yeah, give it a check out. It's fun.